There are so many things we all agree on. That money has too much influence on politics. That voters should choose their representatives, not the other way around. That political parties are in the way of getting things done. That the people shouldn't have to clean up after corporations. That social media can often bring out the worst in people. That wages aren't keeping up with the cost of living. And these are just some of the many important issues we can all actually agree on. We all know these truths that are so painfully obvious. And yet we can't seem to do anything about them. The problem is, for example, that we can't make sure the people don't have to clean up after corporations because money has too much influence on politics. And we can't get money out of politics because political parties are in the way of getting things done. And the political parties are in the way of getting things done because money has too much influence on politics. And round and round we go. This is why we need an integrated approach, a web of solutions to unwind a complex mess of issues entangled by two centuries of patchwork and cobwebs. In short, we need a reconstitution. There is so much we all agree on, but we get so hung up on how to do it, who gets to do it, and whether it can be done at all, that nothing seems to get done. That changes here and now. We each have something to contribute, liberals and conservatives, libertarians and progressives. We don't need to form teams of these political views. Instead, we can make use of them as toolkits. So let's have a conversation. Let's put parties aside. Let's put distractions aside. This isn't a game. This is about people's lives. This is about our shared future. It's time to get things done. We can renew our commitment to the Constitution and make it more perfect at the same time. This is the Reconstitution. Sign on and join the conversation.